For the first time in over 100 years, the Danish parliament has passed a law allowing Danes dual citizenship. With this new option, tens of thousands of Danes in the U.S. are considering whether or not to become American citizens. I was born in Denmark in the summer of 1962. I love the long summers and the cozy winters. I had no idea how small my country was. My life was safe. But I was a big dreamer. And I longed for adventure. My fellow Americans, tonight I'd like to talk with you about immigration. For more than 200 years, our tradition of welcoming immigrants from around the world has given us a tremendous advantage over other nations. It's kept us youthful, dynamic, and entrepreneurial. It was kind of a surreal, the whole thing. It was just, um, I remember saying goodbye to friends and family and just leaving there in, in Castle Bluff Town and in the airport in Denmark. And it was, I don't know, I, I, did, I had no idea what we were doing. I mean, I didn't know what we were up for. I didn't know what was going to happen. I just kind of felt like this extended vacation or something. But it wasn't a vacation. We live here. We work here. We are raising a child here. And I love this country. It's people. And the freedom. My life is exciting. And I'm connected to so many Danes here. We får mange henvendelser omkring dobbelt statsborgerskab. Der er helt klart stort interesse for det. Det er meget følelsesladet. Vi, vi bor jo i USA, og, og vi vil gerne engagere os i USA, men vi føler os også meget danske. Og jeg tror, at mange af os er mere danske, end danskere er i Danmark. Ønsket om at indføre dobbelt statsborgerskab er et udtryk for foragten for national identitet, foragten for Danmark som danskernes land. Det er altid nemmere at kunne være forskellige ting på samme tid. Men vi må bede dem forstå, at ingenting i denne verden er gratis. Og vil man have forskellige ting på samme tid, så er det ens betydende med at svigte noget afgørende her, nemlig det, der hedder Dansk Indfødsret og dermed Danmark. Is he right? Is that true? I wonder the same thing myself, and I do feel guilty for leaving my friends, family, and country behind. I often miss my Danish self and the language. Even now, I don't know which language to speak. I really wish my daughter felt more familiar with my Danish home and culture. And I know it isn't easy for my parents with me and their granddaughter living so far away. But I believe, or maybe hope, that living here and sharing what I love most about the Danish culture makes my relationship with Denmark and my Danish identity stronger. I know I'm not alone in this. There are so many Danes here who feel the same way, and I know there are people in Denmark who do understand. Mange danske fejrer nytåret uden for Danmark. Enten de er nær eller fjern. Enten de er hjemmefra for en kort tid, eller har slået sig ned mere permanent i det fremmede, vil jeg ønske dem et godt nytår. De er med til at gøre Danmark kendt over hele verden. Jeg anerkender det dilemma, det kan være, når man er et eller andet sted derude i den store verden, og stadig føler en tilknytning til Danmark, og det er netop derfor, man gerne vil have dobbelt statsborgerskab, så man kan bevare sit danske. Jeg mener helt afgjort, at man kan være lojal til mere end et land. Det er jeg helt sikker på, at man kan, ligesom børn jo kan være lojale til mere end en forælder. Even if I find a way to make peace with my two worlds, I'm still not sure if it's right for me to become an American. I'm not even sure what it means to be an American. And I have a feeling that there's a bigger price to pay than I'm aware of now. And I want to know what that price is. Det betyder også at et land som Amerika, som ellers generelt accepterer dobbelt statsborgerskab, advarer om, 
at dobbelt statsborgerskab kan medføre en række problemer for borgerne, og at dobbelt statsborgerskab derfor ikke kan anbefales. Hvis vedkommende har flere forskellige statsborgerskaber, hvad er det så for et land, der skal varetage den pågældende persons interesser? As a father who wants to protect my daughter's interest, I have the same question myself. If I don't become an American citizen, can I get thrown out of the country? If I can't vote, how can I use my voice to make sure my values are represented? But if I do become an American citizen, how will I be perceived outside the United States? Will I be as safe? Who will protect me and my family if I'm falsely accused of doing something illegal? I can see this is more complicated than I ever imagined. So I want to connect with other Danes who are in my situation. I want to know what they are going to do and why. I want to hear their stories so that together we can understand, define and embrace all of who we are.